Uh, I would say it's a job creation. I remember when they came in as a government, they promised us uh, job opportunities, especially for youths. Something we've not seen. So uh, they failed us big time because we are out here hustling and uh, trying to make ends. At the same time, they are pushing us to pay taxes, something it's too difficult for us to do. You're wondering if you're going to pay uh, your house uh, chores, I mean, uh, uh, bills, or you're going to pay the government because it's really hustling. I mean, it's so uh, tough out here. So they failed us in jobs as, uh, as youths. And uh, one more thing about uh, power, the electricity, especially the earth country you find it's just too dark. You go to other places, it depends on where you come from. I think they, are, they were too choosy on where to take power to, especially where I come from, Makweni. We've not seen power, we have the post, yes, but nothing has been done for the last uh, 10 years and the, it's only a few days to go. And so we still don't have power. We just depend on solar. We expect to see changes, especially education-wise, education because uh, with uh, this government, the current government, we've seen so, so much confusion. CBC 844 uh, publishers being told to just hold on, because I remember when they introduced the CBC, especially for the grade, uh, I mean the standard seven, there was changes. Uh, they started the CBC, but in between there was a change, like they had to go back to 844. So we expect the incoming government just to stand still with the, uh, the CBC because we see it is really good. Okay, in as much as it's time consuming, it is really good. And uh, we expect them to support so much on the education for the CBC. So let's not have like a uh, uh, double-minded uh, government, like we are here, we are there. No, we don't want that. Let's start with CBC. Secondly, uh, in terms of health, please let the government look at the, at the doctors and the nurses because they do a lot for us, especially if you see the, what they did, the COVID, they did a lot, they sacrificed a lot. So we expect them to focus also on uh, the health uh, workers and support them in case of in increment and all that. It's too unfortunate this year I am not voting for anyone because every time you go vote, whatever you, you've been promised, it's never it never comes out. And that's why this time around I said I'm not going to vote. Uh, I foresee and I pray for a peaceful election. We've seen a lot of post-violence election, and of course the world is looking at Kenya. So let's see, uh, let's uh, give them a different picture of this country. We have a peaceful election, whoever wins, we support him, whoever loses, we support the other, the winner, and all that. Let's not have a rerun, because again, that is another cost. So let's have a peaceful election, and uh, the turnout, let's turn out there and vote, and just choose a good leader.